The date was June 1, 1921, when Black Wall Street, the name fittingly given to one of the most affluent all-black communities in America, was bombed from the air and burned to the ground by mobs of envious whites. In a period spanning fewer than 12 hours, a once thriving 36-block business district in northern Tulsa lay smoldering, a model community destroyed in a major African-American economic movement resoundingly diffused. The night's carnage left some 3,000 African-Americans dead and over 600 successful businesses lost. Amongst these were 21 churches, 21 restaurants, 30 grocery stores, and two movie theaters, plus a hospital, a bank, a post office, libraries, schools, law offices, and a half dozen private airplanes, and even a bus system. As could be expected, the impetus behind it all was the infamous Ku Klux Klan working in consort with ranking city officials and many other sympathizers. The description of Black Wall Street, or Little Africa as it was also known, would be to liken it to a mini Beverly Hills. It was the golden door of the black community during the early 1900s, and it proved that African Americans had successful business infrastructure. That's what Black Wall Street was all about.